What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lex Veltais and we're here from this beautiful casino in Mayfair, London with another episode of Triton Cash Games for you guys and what a lineup we have today. Here we already see some familiar names, Shanghai won, Mr. Liangda earlier, Tan Shuen, Tom Duan, Elton Sang, Dream lineup, some of our favorite cash game players and tournament players from the Triton circuit. We're playing 2,000, 4,000 pounds. Looks like most players bought in for 400,000 pounds. And immediately here, both players with a piece of the flop. This cash game is sponsored by Les Ambassadeurs in May for London. Elton calls Benchwan's flop bet. Oh no! Here are, you are out? Oh. Final oh. table? <laughs> Listen to this head fish! Hi Jack! I shot any two at least. Open shot. Isaac Paul. Bottom of Tang Ko. Oh, yes, yes. You win? You win? The same? I won. Oh, Paul okay. oh, at the table. Love some action. Sounds like he was just playing another tournament. Doubled. Just came over to play some cash games. Come! It's so good to see Tom Duan in his natural habitat. He plays his games all the time. Of course, we see him in the tournaments as well at Triton, but cash games definitely a sport day. Benefit this guy may be too rich. This hundred thousand for practice. Hundred thousand K pound. We oh. feed them full already. Hey, hey Steve. Have a seat. We have a seat. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. No pro game. Shots fire, Tom. One likes to flop enough to put a bet out there. Elton Sang flops a strong hand. I've seen Elton play a lot in the Jeju Cash game. Absolutely fearless. Elton is not going to be too happy with that turn. It completes some uh, bluffing hands for Tom, Ace Jack, King Jack, Ace King, King Nine. Makes his hand a lot weaker. One is gonna bet. Recognizes that it's a really good card. Something definitely a preflop raiser can represent. Oh, by Elton. Immediately we're off to 180,000 pound pot. That is a very interesting card. Tom gives up. Doesn't think he's gonna get to the river with a nine very often. So it's a little bit too big of a chance that he'll get called by a two pair type hand. Elton's gonna take it down with third pair. Hey, 
吴总打遥控啊？他在澳门啊，澳门三十九度打。吴总开局不是？哎，不用不用 ND。This is the cash game in London during the Triton Million, biggest poker tournament ever. One million pound buy-in. These guys play with each other all the time. They're very aware of each other's game. They've been playing each other for years. I'm sure we're going to see some uh, next level decisions where it really comes into play that they have so much history. Good flop to uh, bluff there for Elton Sang. He's a pre flop raiser, he's going to be able to represent an ace a lot. Gets the gut shot on the turn. Not even a diamond, just a clean 10. Over there. I like how fast Sorry. these guys play. 32,000. About two thirds of the pot. Don't fight it. Benchwan, one of the most impressive players on the circuit. Seen him make all kinds of crazy decisions, incredible calls, insane laydowns, hero bluffs. This man does it all. Gets away from it. Nice. Nicely done. Especially against a guy that has such an aggressive reputation, like Elton Sang. Shanghai Wong there in the eighth seat. Mr. Liang, of course, from the famous hand against Jean Robert Belland, the 5 3 blow up. for you guys as usual we're gonna be releasing them all for your viewing pleasure also have a short deck game the short deck cash game is getting incredibly crazy a nice card there for Popwa Pop plays it With a lot of players, you would say this is the end of the hand. With Elton, you never know. Now you got Jin, dear. 
，冇地卡咯，你比我厉害。我那有干净过。Big Paul there is referring to the fact that Elton Sang won a big tournament in Monte Carlo once for 11 million. 亚军，亚军，澳门，澳门哪个？冠军啊！那那些全部赢了。他来这边打就是当代啊，中国内那那那个几大。第一天，第一天那肯定是拿冠军的。啊。Got to be a little bit careful there. <laughs> Second pair, no club. It's much more dangerous boards when you can't actually see your opponent's cards like we can. It's a club. Let's see if that's uh, gonna convince anyone to try and represent it. I like this bet. Yeah, quick fold from Paul. Well done by Shanghai Wong. Robo! I text you. Opwa will not have his text messages unanswered. Robo also in the house playing a cash game. I always find any Robo wherever the action is in the world. Oh, Mr. Lianger with two kings. Robo, look at your text! Both blinds have an ace. I texted you. Reba by Shanghai Wong. I like it. Button now has a really strong hand, but a lot of people are going to try and steal the blinds from the button. Good to, uh, to attack that from a small blind, defend a lot from the big blind. Let him get away with it so easily. I think the ace in your hand is really good too in the small blinds. Good luck, Mr. Liang is going to go for 125? 150. Pretty big bet. Might be hard for uh, Shang on one to imagine that he has some full equity still. Only 250k behind for Mr. Liang. I just scared uh, Shang Wong off a little bit there. Beautiful room. Old school casino. Laughing, Papa. Shanghai Wong gonna try again with a similar ace. This time he's the pre-flop aggressor. Why don't you answer me? I didn't text you. 
I thought that, that Elf, I'm not gonna get involved. So he limped with a 6-3. Wanted to see a cheap flop. Couldn't help himself. Opening the action here with ace jack. And I won. I get involved uh, for a third time in a row. I'm sure he will. It's a really strong hand now. It's always nice when you're aggressive a few pots in a row where you actually have the best hand last. Goes for another re race. Now Ten Chuan. He might pick up on that. The good thing about a hand like King Queen in this situation is the hand plays well post flop, but also there's less of a chance your opponent has ace king, ace queen, kings, or queens. So some of the strongest hands are blocked by King Queen, and that encourages a lot of players and pros to use this hand to bluff with. He is on the button. He might be uh, content to just see a flop with the sand as well. Here we go. He does bump it up to 100,000. Paul knows he's up against two very aggressive players. <laughs> he does fold. It almost looked like he was gonna go all in for a second there. Yeah, Wong is in a great position here, but it's always a little bit scary when uh, your opponent's four bets without having any money in the pot as well. Counting his chips, see how much room he has. Big decision for him. There he goes. Money's in. It's a good read on the situation by Shanghai Wong. Let's see if uh, Tan Xuan thinks he's priced in. <laughs> Shanghai Wong is known to bring a lot of action and not back down from a fight. Even last hand or two hands ago, I think he was legitimately considering to put some more money in with Ace-9. This might be a similar situation where he just feels, you know what? I'm not going to be pushed around by you guys. It's <laughs> definitely a, t a chance that Shanghai Wong plays jacks, tens, nines here. Ace jack suited, ace ten suited. Against all of those hands, you do well. Or good enough to call, percentage wise, but. Of course, it's also those hands that you're in a lot of trouble against. <laughs> Makes the correct read, lays it down. <laughs> I like that he has a strong hand, but still lies about his hand. 
He already has Ace Queen suited, but he said, no, no, I had Aces, guys. They were asking him Toji, which means bluff. No, no, AA. Here we see it, this cash game, sponsored by Les Ambassadeurs. Mr. Liang opening up the action here. Shanghai yeah, Wong is going to go for a streak. And Chuan is saying, why not? The good thing about having low cards in the big blind when you defend against multiple people is that it's very unlikely that somebody blocks your cards. Because hands like Queen 7, Jack 7, 10 7 don't get played as often. There it is. Whoa. Yeah, Wong got it done. <laughs> I just trying to really believe that he was uh, slow playing there. Of course, some straights get there, but again, 9 5 is pretty unlikely. Shang I want to have in the small blinds. Pretty uh, quick fold there from Tan Xuan. And uh, that puts Shang Wong on a kill streak. Four in a row. <laughs> but you have to keep going now. Gets out of the way. See Wai Ken Yong uh, sitting down. I believe he's taking a uh, Paul Pua seat for a bit. I'm not entirely sure if he pushed the pulse stack aside. I think Paul's stack is in the middle there between Mr. Liang and Wai Ken Yong, but it could also be Mr. Liang's stack. Who knows in these games, honestly. Champion. It is Mr. Liang's stack. Looks like Tanj want to add on some money. Incredibly skilled at playing big pots. Tanj one likes to take you to deep waters. A turn. Tom gets there. It's always horrible to see when you turn a set and your opponent checks. In a lot of these situations, Tom will just get paid off because he's Tom one, and people will pretty much never trust his bets.
Oh, that's the door tax. I've been playing uh, the high stakes cash games in Macau, Asia, Philippines as early as 2010, 2011, I believe. Very familiar with all these guys. No stranger to these incredibly high stakes. Some blind on blind action here. Elton Sang out of position. In front here, though. It's a quick pull from Wyken. Bench one with a queen six suited, pretty light. Home one with a nice hand to re raise with King Jack suited. Six incredibly weak hands. He's not calling. He's four betting. This is why these games are so awesome to watch. Pretty loose open. Get re raised. I re raise. No problem. 120,000 pounds. It's a pretty beefy uh, four bet there, seeing uh, from Tenshuan. Meaning that, yeah, it's going to be a little bit hard for uh, Tom to even kind of check the flop. Did he flip him the bird there? What was that? <laughs> nice move there by uh, Ten Chuan. Gets it done with the queen six suited. Okay. Yeah, so I go back. Massage first. No, I, my neck, I go to massage. All right, all in. Go massage. You. <laughs> <laughs> it must be so fun for these guys to uh, get to watch this back. They play against each other all year and now one of the games has whole cards up so you really get to see uh, what your opponents are pulling against you. It's hard to say if they're doing it because it's on TV. I'm sure that these guys would love a good bluff story or show the other guys that they... Uh, they got somebody good. So why can Yong's turn now to re-raise with the King Jack? Yeah, <laughs> David Louisa. No hero bluff there. Wyken is a very solid image. No, 
Not afraid to make big moves, not afraid to make big calls, but... Still a solid image. Silly, I'm gonna just flat call here with the ace queen. Both players have a diamond. Silly Ang, betting with the best of it. Dollars, right? Or pounds? This pounds? I'm mouthing to that. It's a very interesting turn. Even though both players have the diamond. But saying it's another first draw here. He's gonna check raise it. Very nice move by him. Oji, oh, oh, bluff. Doesn't want it to go check check on the river. Possibly lose to a low pair, or in this case, a better ace high. Really great move there by Elton uh, to take back the initiative in the hand. I don't think there's an anti this game. Good hand there for Tom Vaughn. Deep set catch games. Pocket pairs. Very nice. Better flop a set. Three way to the flop. Elton Sang with a good hand. It's a 10 eye flush draw against Wyken Young's bottom pair. Wyken is not going to be extremely uh, excited about this hand, but at least he has a piece. It's nice too for him that he's in position. It's like the king of spades. Elton locks this one up. 
I like his bets here. The preflop razor still left the act behind him on that turn. He's gonna have a lot of cards that he can call with. Of course, he's gonna hit that king a lot. Or have something like ace jack with his spades. But unfortunately for him, that was a scare card for everyone involved. Raise the 10k, ace king. I'm just gonna call. Good hands this round. Why can Young? Perfect hands for the situation in the big lines. He's gonna be very happy to just uh, see a flop. Like we said earlier, it's also unlikely somebody has uh, one of his cards dominated. But when it's three other people in the hand, you really wanna flop some kind of two card combination. Flush draw, straight draw, two pair. Pair of five is not going to cut it most of the time. See if Elton uh, finds any merit in calling here. That is a very coordinated card. Dutch shells get there. Flush draws get there. In these kind of situations, it's also very important to realize that this pot did not start heads up. There were two other guys on the flop that folded, meaning that all bets and all calls on the flop just become stronger. Elton leads out 50,000. This is so interesting. He thinks, you know what, if you did have a king, let me put some pressure on you. I'm gonna change gears here. Definitely make a case for uh, saying that if you think you need this bet to win the hand, maybe you should have folded the flop. He's pretty much saying, uh, I think you have a king. It's like it's gonna work. But yeah, it's. Really annoying card there for Shanghai Wong. That's a go. Well, whatever the reason, Elton got it done. I think Shanghai Wong again was saying that he did not have a king. Well, in that situation, uh, it's definitely smart to lie about your hands. You can't just start telling people that you're falling top pair, top kicker. Bench one now with the Queen Jack. Elton can't help himself, the four deuce. And 
And in turn, really nice hand for Mr. Liang to defend there from the big blind. Alright, so Tenshuan has a gut shot. It is a rainbow board. Bottom pair for uh, Mr. Liang. Who has 44% equity in the spot? But shots and overcards are really strong. <laughs> well done, some solid aggression takes that one down. It's a pretty action board. Tom Duan with the 8 high flush draw. Shanghai Wong top pair. Medium kicker. But it's still about uh, as good as a flop as you can uh, wish for. That 9. Feels pretty comfortable to go a few streets with this. There it is. Of course, it's a massive uh, scare card there for Shanghai Wong. Not just the club, but also the ace. Tom goes straight for a big value. What I love about this bet is if, if this gets called, Bob will be exactly 180,000 pounds on the river, and Tom has 180,000 pounds behind. So he's setting himself up for a nice uh, river all in there. Shanghai Wong just had to fold top air in a pot. He's thinking, why are you betting so big? You have ace jack of diamonds, would you really bet this big? It folds it, good folds. Of course, it's a big scare card, but in these live cash games, you always see that people don't like to fold a few times in a row. That you can hear uh, Robo laugh in the background. Quick round of calls here. You see a flop four way. Let's stop to pair for Tenshuan. Quickly checks it. Very tricky.
It's very tough to play against the big blind because they kind of random two cards. It was a limp pot. Tenchwen got to see the flop for free. That means that even a3, 5 3, 4 6, all those hands are in there. Definitely the scariest uh, player there on the table on a board like that. Alright, let's see if this adventure with Ace King uh, works out better than the last. Pretty good board there for Wai Kin Yong. Yeah, makes a quick call. Those shots are nice hands to continue with because even when you're out of position, your opponent could check the turn behind and you get a cheap spot to bluff at the river. Like if it goes check check here, a lot of time even like a bet like 17, 18,000 pounds will just get it done. <laughs> just a cheap 18,000 pounds. This is a very strong bet. I really like that he picks the queen for that. Just the fact that he has ace king and he can any any continuation bets on this flop shows that he could have a lot of hands with the queen in it. That would raise pre flop. So Shanghai one takes that one down very nicely. I really like uh, the way Shanghai Wong is coming out of the gate uh, here. We've seen him uh, run incredibly bad in some other uh, cash game episodes. Strong start here for him. Then Shwan with the 8 5 offsuit. Don't try this at home. Bench one. Gonna continue. Elton not going anywhere with the stop air, of course. Let's see what uh, Mr. Liang decides to do. It's pretty nice when you have a gut shot like this that there's no flush around the flop. At least you know that all your outs are good. If you do hit. That actually gives a, a Ten Shuen some uh, equity there. Turns a gut shot, but against two opponents, you're going to be pretty worried about uh, one of them having that ace. Two 
partir. Elton will do the betting for him. Considering something here. You no know, Ten Schwen sometimes likes to take his time, but credit to the man, he does come up with some sick moves. There we go. He really does not want to let this puck go. This is why he's so incredibly tough to play. You think, oh, I face nine on the flop. You think, okay, that's pretty nice. I'm turning, oh, I'm going to get some value. They both jack. I'm going to bet my ace nine. This is fantastic. But then Schwen whips out the shotgun. He's ready for a fight. When you're Elton Sanger, you just think to yourself, and I just have checked. What's this headache? Gets rid of it. What a move there by Tan Shuen. Oh, I love watching this guy play. Toji. That brings us to the end here of our first episode of the No Limit Hold'em Cash Game. Of course, there's going to be more. We have a lot more action for you guys. This is Lex Veltuis, the Triton Cash Game from London. I'll see you guys next time.